How many books have you read last year? Well, according to statistics, if you are a middle person from the earth, you've read only four books. If you're American, 14. If you are British, 10. If you're Russian, it's 17. That's pretty good, it means that you read about one book in a month. A lot of people haven't read a single book in their lives. But what about people who complete 52 or 100 books a year challenges? It's about 4 to 9 books a month, it's a fantastic result, especially if you don't choose a complete trash and read consciously. In this video, I'll share with you my personal 7 easy steps to start read more and get much more joy and value from reading. Hi, I'm Mike Tulpakov, and I'll help you to discover great literature and to start reading books productively and consciously. How often do you look at the book you really want to start or continue reading? but a push notification on your phone again and again pushes you off your desire to read more. I guess it happens quite often and disappoints you a lot. Well, a lot of people, including me, struggling to read more. There are a lot of reasons for that. In my previous video, I spoke how reading affects your life in a positive way. You can find it uh, by link, I guess, out there. But when you see something like Brothers Karamazov or Ulysses, you think, oh my gosh, I'll never complete it. There is no reason even to start. But there are a lot of ways to start reading more. And in this video, I'll share my personal 7 steps to help you start reading books. So, here we go. Tip number 1. Set a goal. Deciding how many books you want to read in a certain period of time, whether it's a month or a year, will help you stay motivated and on the track. You can set a monthly or yearly goal and make a plan to achieve it. For example, you could aim to read one book per month or 12 books in a year. That's a very good starting point, I guess. You can also track your progress by creating a reading list or using an app for it. But I personally prefer to use analog devices like my bullet journal. And there is a cheat code, uh, small books and short novels. They are always a good decision. Tip number two. Find books that interest you. Reading should be enjoyable and it's important to find books that you're interested in. Don't be a trend victim, you will never read all the books. It's unbelievably hard to watch all the movies and Netflix TV series that your friends recommend you. Imagine doing the same with books. You can read everything that can be any genre, fiction or non-fiction, biography of your music idol or a book about running if you want to start running. By the way, what I talk about when I talk about running by Haruki Murakami is one of the best inspirational books for running beginners. Reading should all depend on your interests. You can ask people you admire for recommendation, browse online bookstores or check out bestseller lists to find a lot of good books. But remember that your own interests are in priority. Tip number three. Make time for reading. Setting aside a specific time in each day for reading can help you develop a regular reading habit. It can be in the morning, before bed or during your lunch break. Make it a priority and stick to it. The best way to start is up to 5 to 10 pages in the morning to replace your interactions with social networks and 30 to 40 minutes before sleep to set your mind for the calm night. If you can find additional time for reading during the day, it's great, but in the beginning of the journey it's good to have everyday fixed time for reading. It's the time where no one disturbs you, it's only your and your book's time. Tip number 4. If you are not used to read, starting with a short book or with the book that you already read can be a good way to get into it. Gradually increase the length and complexity of the books you read and you become more comfortable. We all see the monumental War and Peace or Infinite Jest and dream of reading it, but the world of short novels can give you experience and emotions you will never expect of. Start to read stories that you can finish in a day or two and your passion for reading will grow along with your conscious reader's experience. Tip number five. Keep a reading log. Keeping a record on the books that you read can be a great way to reflect on your reading progress. It can only be a list when you just fix the date you start and finish the book. But it's better to write your thoughts about them and uh, some quotes that impressed you. 
You can use your Notion, Google Keep or Notes on your iPhone for it, but I personally prefer physical notes. It gives me a pleasant feeling about the amount of books I've read, and it's so nice to look through the years of reading, fixed in physical form. Logging can also help you remember what you read and give you a better understanding of how you feel about it. Tip number 6. Join a book club. Joining a book club can help you stay motivated and give you a chance to discuss uh, what you've read. Check out your Facebook, Instagram, Telegram for your local book club or find online one. Grab your friend and encourage him or her to make you a company. Or you can always go solo. It's a great way to discover new books and to learn more about the books you're reading from other people's experience. And the last but not the least, you will learn how to form your opinion, protect and transform it using other people's views and experiences. I used to lead one book club, but it didn't last long. Social aspect of reading is not mine. I prefer to go solo in my reading experience. Tip number seven, read in different formats. Try reading ebooks, audiobooks or comic books if you find that more comfortable to you. This can make reading more enjoyable and accessible and it can also help you discover new types of books and authors. I prefer physical books, but sometimes, especially when I go running, audiobook is a great option, especially when the narrator is a true professional or your favorite celebrity. You can also read one book in audio and text at the same time. It could be much more productive and help you find your own tempo of moving in reading. Remember that reading is a personal hobby and tips for improving your reading habits may work for one person but not for other. You can always find your own way to make reading a big part of your life. It's important to find what works for you and to make appropriate adjustments as you go along with it. But remember that the main key is consistency and joy that you get from reading books. I hope this video were helpful, so make sure to push the subscribe button, the bell and all the buttons below, it will really help this channel to grow. Bye bye, see you soon.